Hello, activists. My name is Mary Wolfson Pratt, and I'm here to tell you about my famous daughter, Mary Shelley, better known as the Gothic novelist of Frankenstein. But before you learn more about her, you have to know a little bit more about me. I myself wrote many books, most with the point of coming women or people to pay. Even if I didn't use those exact words, I married a man named William Godwin, and one man before him, but William was Mary's boss. I was a vegetarian feminist and activist. Sadly, I died 15 days after Mary's birth, but I inspired her life and activism. Now, let's get to it and tell the story of changing the world. terrifying dream. What a terrifying dream. This is my story. This, this is my story. I, I have to write this down. Uh, yes. Perhaps things will make a little more sense if we go back a teeny bit. Two hours ago she blew me just about right. Travel back to when Mary was but 15 years old. Mary, dinner's almost ready. We insist tonight you eat your meat. I shall not eat a corpse. Meat is not a corpse. Your mother would not care if you ate meat. Even if that was true. In fact, I'm getting the urge to not eat any meat at all. At the age of 15, perhaps as a foreshadowing of her future activism, Mary chose to be a vegetarian. Let's go back a little further now to when Mary was but a child. Children, I have an announcement to make. Yes, Father. I'm marrying a new woman. But, but, but Father, you love Father. Don't you still love Mother? It's been many long years, Mary. And here she is now. Hello, William. Who is this? This is Mary. She likes to write. A girl who writes? Oh, William, what are you teaching her? She will never make it in that world. We're not teaching her to be a respectful lady. Mary! Mary! Dear mother, even though I don't really know you, I miss you so very much. Stepmother is the most sexist and cruel person I have met, and she's a woman herself. I will keep believing in the Lord and Trinity and get through this. Love, Mary. all the way back to the day my Mary was born. Children, I have news. We have a new sibling. It's a girl. Her name is Mary. But I also have terrible news. The nurse said your mother may not make it much longer. We must pray. My daughter survived terrible things in her life. But when she was only 19, she wrote Frankenstein. 
to a world-changing novel that incorporated veganism, feminism, abolitionism, and activism. She entered that story contest, and her friends, numerous talented writers, all agreed that she was the winner. Later, that same story would become very famous. My daughter would go on to die from a brain tumor, but not before living a world-changing life. your world. You have one life. Get out of here. Go live it. Your way. Yes, my little monster? Me too, you did! Want to show it? Come here, honey. Let me tell you all about it. You know I can't take one more step towards you Cause all that's waiting is regret Don't you know I'm not your ghost anymore? You lost the love I loved the most. I learned to live half a life. And now you want me one more time. And who do you think you are? Julie Pryor. I wrote and directed the film. I also play Mary Shelley. If you'd like to learn more about her, Mary Shelley and her life, you can go to Britannia Kids, Wikipedia, Kittle, or you could read She Made a Monster by Lynn Fulton. I hope you guys enjoyed the film. I'm going to give a few shout outs. Thank you to Casey Peters for letting us use the Cohen home to film at. It's a historical home that is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. You can rent it out for events. Again, thank you for watching and be an activist. My name is Mary Wolfencraft and I'm excited about my same daughter, Mary Shelley, better known as the author of